Good morning, crafters. How are you? Um, hey, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Sandra on YouTube. And is that Lynn? Sorry, eyesight, you know, glasses. Nobody messaged me to remind me about my glasses. How are you all doing? Hope you're good. Uh, live on Facebook and on YouTube this morning. Hello, Gillian Godfrey. How are you? And Vic Vicky, you're nice and early this morning. Are you good as well? Hope you are. Hope you're all having a good week. This week's been a bit of a curveball. Um, well, actually, it was last end of last week. So if you follow the craft stash emails, you'll have probably seen that uh, on Friday, two days time, I'm going to be doing an eight hour craft marathon. And that's all going to be live the whole eight hours on YouTube on the craft stash channels. Uh, hi, Louise Noah. How are you? Um, so yeah, kind of not prepared at all, but I've got lots and lots of crafty guests joining me. So Vicky is one of them. Um, and we've got Sam Calcott, we've got Christina Griffiths, we've got Helen Griffin, we've got Gemma as well. Gemma Brown is Sam's DT member. Um, who else is, who have I missed? Katie Skilton's joining me as well. Um, lots of people coming in to have a chat with me or do some demonstrations as well. Now I'll be crafting for the full eight hours. Um, make sure you go over to the Craft Stash YouTube channel at some point and hit the little notification button so you catch me. But from 8am on Friday all the way through to 4pm. Um, so yeah, that'll be good fun. Good morning, Helen. How are you? Good morning from the UK. I'm also in the UK. It's a nice morning today, except you may have heard... Oh, I can't get this open. You may have heard while uh, the video was on at the beginning, we've actually got lots of drilling and sawing and all sorts still outside mine. So... Uh, apologies if it's very very noisy now I'm just doing a bit of laminating I didn't get this prepared so basically what I've done is I've printed off a photo I'm going to be doing a little bit of an art journal page I wanted to do a scrapbook um, but I thought an hour is not really long enough for me to do a full scrapbook page in so today we're going to do a little bit of an art journal page and if I like it I might blow it up and redo it as a full 12 by 12 scrapbook page um, and this is the color combination that I'm going to be using here this is on Pinterest um, Pinterest brilliant if you want to search colour combinations just pop in green colour combo or peach or whatever colour you want uh, so that's what I'm going to be working with so I've got my distress inks to match that now this is a photo of my son and my daughter so my daughter just had her year 13 prom so she's 18 years old and she was going off to prom uh, hi Thelma how are you um, and the story was let me pop this through the laminating machine I'll explain why I'm, why I'm laminating it in just a moment the story was so she got ready for her prom and it turned out that she um, was being picked up earlier than expected so my son who wanted some photos with her ran home he was he's a 15 year old boy he was disgustingly sweaty um, grotty had been at the skate park it wasn't wasn't pretty but he ran all the way home from the skate park which is quite a long way um, he then um, went and got changed or quickly grabbed a shirt so that he could have some photos taken with her because they absolutely adore each other. They love, it's a love-hate thing, but they really do adore each other, really. Uh, yeah, so he ran home, chucked a shirt on, came down, black trousers, he's actually got black tracksuit bottoms on there, um, but came down and had some photos taken and we realised his shirt's really crumpled and creased. It actually came out of his... Um, uh, uh, what's the word? Oh, no. Oh no, this isn't coming out. That's an issue. Hang on a minute. It actually came out of his wash bin, that's what I was going to say. My laminating machine has just sucked up my my thing. I'm wondering if I put another sheet through, will that push that through? Does anyone know anything? Let's turn it off because it's going to get really hot. Here you go, so this is proper crafting. So I was just laminating my photo. Now I've turned it all off. What's that do? I don't actually know what that does. But it's just it's in here I can see it's in here so I wanted to laminate my photo because I just printed it off oh okay okay it's salvageable let's it's still warm so let's quickly flatten it out it just got crumpled as it went through so I've laminated a photo that I printed off from my computer do you know what I'll reprint it and I'll relaminate it but I can use this today as a guide for where this is going to go so you kind of get the idea but I will do that properly later on. Oh, it's a shame because I just spent time fussy cutting this all out. <laughs> um, so, yes, yeah, so he came down. His shirt was 
um, really crumpled and creased and not very uh, not very attractive but he yeah bless him he tried he really wanted photo with him and it was just really sweet and th this is one of the photos he's actually got his arm over his chest because he's got a stain it's his old school shirt that had been chucked in the wash like that evening when he got home from school or whatever and he's got a stain on his top so his so his hand is over there oh that's a shame that did that so anyway i laminate what i do is i tend to laminate photos if i've just printed them onto copy paper now uh since the move i failed to find my photo paper don't know where it is it's in a box somewhere so i thought do you know what it's fine i can print it onto copy paper laminate it and that way also if i get any ink or mediums on the photo it will just wipe off and i also think laminating it kind of gives it um, a bit more longevity within an art journal or a scrapbook page um, but yeah so there's the first mistake of the day right let's have a look at these comments good morning Susan Suzanne how are you Suzanne Jenkins and Julie how yeah hello and Lou and everyone hello uh, Vic, Vicky you can't wait to see I haven't got my glasses on I've also got something here that's right in front of the camera uh, of the TV so I can't see oh can't wait to see what this is going to look like yeah me you and me both Vicky <laughs> Try sandwich it between two copy pastes. Yeah, I know I should have done that, shouldn't I? I just popped it in. I didn't think about it. You know when you're in a rush, and it was a rush this morning, hence I was still doing it when I came live. But we'll see how it comes out. But I will redo this. In exact, I've still got it on my computer, so I can print it off exactly the same size and pop it over. But I'll cut this out so I've got a guide. Um, there's a lovely lady on Instagram that I'm inspired by at the moment. I think she does absolutely beautiful um work and she uses black and white photos in her art journals i don't know whether they're actually photos that she's taken or of her children or anything i've never really asked uh Nun i want to say nanika but that's probably completely wrong i will uh, add the link later on so you can find her there you go besides the creases in the bottom at least their faces aren't massively distorted at the moment but she had this gorgeous green dress on emerald whoops emerald green dress she's very much she says her aura is green my daughter um and it's it was kind of this color green or pine needles green really dark so that's why i decided to go with the green color combination uh oh okay put a tea towel on top and iron it you've done this before oh really does that work interesting good morning jackie anderson sorry i'm just scrolling back through the comments on facebook tracy ann how are you uh kids are up early because the holidays oh i know my son's still in bed he's got a temperature of 40 degrees today and yesterday so he's in bed at the moment i'll go check on him again after this live he's fine he's up he's had a cold and for some reason he's just got this lingering temperature but he's he's okay just feeling a bit groggy grotty he had an apple for dinner last night so i know he's ill um <laughs> that was it marie bland how are you hope you're well i may have said hello to you actually because that was right at the beginning um and nearly missed you was flicking through oh i'm sorry now there was an issue because i had to cancel a couple of weeks ago um, I thought I'd cancelled like the entire midweek make series. I've got ink on my sleeve, so let's roll that up so I don't look so grotty. Um, so I redid another event and then I found that there was actually an event for today already set up. So apologies if you were sort of waiting for one event and this one came up instead and you've missed it. But uh, hopefully I'm here. I'm here. YouTube's fine. YouTube's as normal. Um, let me see. Oh, sorry. There's loads of YouTube comments. I haven't said hello to anybody. Uh, Helen Bates Thelma, I did. Laurie, good morning from Western New York. How are you, Laurie? Hope you're well. Carol from New Zealand. Uh, yeah, how sweet, Sandra. Well, they can be sweet at times. <laughs> uh, Therese, how are you? Love, love, love your cards you've been posting, Therese. Absolutely beautiful. Dark Fairy. Um, Dark Fairy, what's your proper name come on unless it is dark fairy maybe that's what you want to be called always use a thin piece of card i know i was just not thinking um good to see that crafters all crafters make mistake uh, my life is honey hello everyone um it's now textured exactly um paula glad you checked your youtube i'm glad too glad to have you here and scrap girl 12 good morning to you right shall we get on with crafting now i've made a complete mess up already um so i've got my wonky photo let's just put my laminating machine right to the back just a general like it was like a 10 15 pound laminating machine that was all so what i'm thinking is no planning 
there's my color combination so you've seen that uh, i'm going to bring in i've got a range of stamps and things i'm going to bring some color into the background with the greens and that's about as far as i've got with regards to planning i've also got some lovely oranges and things there as well now i need what i love what i love 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 is on craft stash you have the um you have the blending mats and they're an a4 blending mat and a six by six blending mat and what i love is the a4 one obviously goes on your desk and you can do all your techniques your ink blending and things but i love the little ones for when i can't put my project into the ink i can bring the ink to it in instead so i'm kind of going to do that on here and i think i'm going to go straight in with quite a dark background and then build up some lighter colors over the top um let's see thanks lou looking forward to friday's craft-a-thon uh love it's aimed at mental health absolutely so well that's one thing i didn't mention is friday's craft-a-thon is going to be based all around um well mental health uk we're actually raising money so basically we're, we're going to be offering you lots of christmas products at amazing prices throughout the day and that's what myself and the team are going to be demonstrating but we are also uh, going to be asking you to donate to mental health and we are going to be discussing um, mental health and how it's helped you within crafting throughout the day too so if anyone's got any stories about how crafting may have helped them with mental health in the past um, we'd love to hear them so drop me a message and I can read some out because I've got a whole eight hours to fill <laughs> so we've got some amazing crafters coming in and uh, helping me um, but yeah so that'd be really nice to to have your input as well so there we go okay I'm gonna flip this over so I've just smooched onto this little six by six blending mat i'm just going to flip it over i've got two different greens there and we're just going to see what happens literally see what happens now what i love about this is you can squelch it and squidge it but if you get close to the edge you will get a very um a very straight edge i'm going to go off the edge this side so let's get my paper towel now when you lift it up I'm going to leave that sitting there for a moment because the paper needs to absorb a little bit. When you lift it up, you're going to get some bits that haven't absorbed. Oh, that's actually quite, it's quite a straight. I'm going to dab it and give it some texture, first of all, so it's not too dark. And then I'm going to go again with a few blobs. There we go. A lot of this is going to be covered over okay so that is that green is actually very similar to uh, what her dress was like which i love now i'm also going to see if we can get some more texture going yeah we can look so just by flicking some more water over the top hopefully you can see that it's kind of all uh wicking and doing its thing its usual thing I think I might need a little bit more of this green over in this corner. I could leave that till later, but I'll do it now. Just attach. Do some more spots. There we go. Right, that's enough. Now, because I'm working in an actual uh, mixed media pad, it's a watercolour paper. So something like a watercolour sketch pad or painting pad would have the perfect paper to be a mixed media album. So I'm gonna leave that to dry for a moment while I do the next bit. Let's just check the comments. How do we drop you a message? Uh, you'll probably need to do that on Facebook, Paula, um, if you're on Facebook. Um, so yeah, my Lou Collins page. See, you can't message, can you, on YouTube, which is odd. But otherwise, my um, email address, is lou.collins at practicalpublishing.co.uk practical publishing is all one word um i have or or even if if you're really stuck for contacting me then um drop customers crafts that's customer services a line and an email and they can forward it on to me uh have these stamps they're brilliant um better join in really oh chris thank you chris there we go i'll try and remember your chris <laughs> lynn hudson how are you are you good um check facebook as well 
I don't like to leave one platform unmanned. Oh, make sure you share pics. You're making your first, oh, who's making the first? Helen is making her first album. Sam is supposed to be off today. Just getting ready, thought you'd pop in and say hello. Hello, Sam, how are you? How's Nan? Ah, oh, I'd love, I'd love to spend a day with my Nan. That'd be really sweet. Um, yeah, Helen, let us know about your album. What are you making? What's the theme? What's the colors? Who's it for? Um, Christine got told the live was cancelled nearly missed you. I oh, know sorry yeah that was a previous one for some reason there were two lives set up so I had to cancel one um, but glad you're here now so I may lose a few people but um, yeah you're here you got me okay so haven't done too much already just a bit of inking on the background now that's got to dry you can see there's a, still a few shiny shiny bits particularly at the edge let's do some fussy cutting and snipping now I really like these frames and I think I'm going to use, is that going to, yeah, I think that will sit nicely if I stamp this frame and then cut it out, which doesn't take long. It really doesn't take long. Now I have to remember to remove my blending mats before I do any cutting because otherwise they end up with cut lines in them. I've done that many a time. Who else has ever cut through a blending mat? I'd imagine a lot of you have. So stamping platform. Now I've already got on here some tape over the centre, which is perfect. Do you know what? I think, I think I might do this from black, or do I do it white? No, let's do it white. I can always, oh, let's do it white. Black ink on white cardstock. Anyone got an opinion? <laughs> right, there's some, oh, they're card bases. I don't want to use them, put them away. I don't want to be using card bases, do I? Now, what's that bit of white on the floor? I'd had a tidy up the other day. That's got a crease in it, so I won't be using that either. Fresh bit. I've got this thing about not wanting to cut into fresh cardstock. So I try and find a scrap instead that's suitable. But I think today it's going to be, it's going to have to be a fresh piece of cardstock. I don't know actually, I've just found some bits. I just found some, there we go. Anyone else try and use their scraps all the time? You'll watch on Friday, might not donate, but only because, no, don't worry about, Don't you don't have to donate at all. Oh, that's lovely, you've got your direct debit to mind, Sandra. Um, no one's gonna be offended at all. It's, it's just an additional extra. If you want to donate, we'll be talking a lot about mental health, but, there's also going to be a fabulous category of um, Christmas crafting products that we're massively reducing for you. So, you know, as almost as a thank you for people who are donating and just watching and joining in. Um, but yeah, don't feel obliged to have to donate. Like I say, it's just an extra. And we all do have our own charities, don't we, that we already add to. Okay, so found my scrap of paper. I'm happy about that. Let's just use Memento. This is one of my dry memento pads. It's not too bad. That's a bit better. So I'm only wanting the frame for this. I'm not worried about the middle. I'm going to cut it all out. So I've already got some tape over there from, I don't know, masking something off in the past. And there we go. Is that all stamped quite nicely? Oh, and next week I've got a collection launch as well just like to keep busy um so obviously it is kind of winter based you've probably seen um a little sneak peek that's already gone up on certainly on facebook and instagram so yeah i've got a new collection launching next friday i will be doing a craft sash live but the cra the lives are no longer just focusing on one launch per live so um, yeah, keep an eye out for videos and things and sneak peeks and photos for that. That's good fun. Oh, there's an absolutely beautiful die. I can't wait to show, oh, should I do it? Should I show you? No one from work's watching, are they? Hang on, I'm gonna take my microphone off because I can't reach it. Bear with. Oh. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you a sneak peek of something that's launching next Friday and it's naughty, I shouldn't be doing it. But it's no different to me putting a little photo up, is it, in preparation? Anyway, so this is one of my dies. I'm going to do like three seconds and then take it away. One, two, three. There we go. I love it. I absolutely, I can't wait to try out different colour combinations with it. So it's obviously a layering die. 
Right, let's change the subject before I get into trouble. But yeah, so next Friday, uh, or Friday after this week, is going to be a launch day. It's very exciting. We've got so much happening at the moment. I was actually discussing this morning with the product development team um, new concepts for textures, and I've got so many ideas. Okay, now I'm not putting that completely over. Obviously, that's just that's going to end up oh, cutting covering up all the green so I'm going to take a craft knife which is always easier said than done there we go I might take a knife as well just can't do it that way though can I because I won't see the clouds um hi uh, hi Lynn Hodson look out for the sneak peek yeah you don't tell shh I know we need more winter dye. Oh no, I will need more winter dye as well. There's a few dyes, a few stamps, but I don't do, has anyone noticed I don't really do Christmas? I'll do winter, but I don't tend to do too much in the way of Christmas. So um, yeah, this is not a Christmas collection, but it's definitely winter themed. Do you know what, that's going to be easier with my scissors. So I'm going to cut down the two edges with the craft knife. Nice and straight. There we go. Good morning, Karen Sinfield. How are you? Thank you, Julie. Vicky Hooper, are you all right? Are you good? Oh, lush. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you like that. Lisa's supposed to be working. Well, get to work. Just listen. I'll try to verbally tell you. I'll kind of commentate what I'm doing for you so you don't get into trouble. Um, okay, so I just find this easier to trim out. I can do it with a craft knife, but I find it easier with scissors. So cut the centre out. Does anyone here do um, like art journaling? Have you tried it? I find it's a really, really good way of testing out techniques rather than committing to a complete card. If you take an art journal page and just try out a technique, maybe it's something with a gel plate or your inks or stamping technique that you've seen and you want to try out and see, or even a colour combination, just blend some inks together and see whether that would work. Uh, do it on an art journal page and sometimes you actually get inspired to complete the page and make something really pretty. Sometimes you just turn the page and say, mm, that didn't work. I can show you in here, I've got a, mm, that didn't work. So uh, that one I've done, let me just make sure you can all see, change the screen there. So that one was fine, love that. Um, I don't really know what it was, I think it was the flower. I thought I, ha I don't think I put the flower together for a long time. That one was a video that I did, a mixed media video on YouTube. That was actually for Craft World. That needs to be very, very simple mixed media. So it's not really a mixed media. Now this is my complete fail, um, really didn't enjoy or wasn't inspired by this whatsoever so do you know what it's in there the red and the teal just didn't work um and then this one's and that's actually another video that was my um mixed media method that i did um so again on youtube mixed media method is the five step method for mixed media i've got a sketch there for something that i've been doing lately and there there's where we are today see how this will come out but like I say I'd like to do a full scrapbook page but I'm going to do it on here and just see what happens and if it's okay I might go and make a scrapbook page another day with a similar sort of thing so a bit of therapeutic cutting so I know Sam's got a launch coming up as well um July's actually really bit or rather July August is very busy with launches because of course we've got everyone squeezing in their Christmas launches um, and we had a meeting the other day also I don't think Sam was in it actually sorry Sam um, I was in a meeting the other day where they were showing us all the launches that are coming up from Craftstash over the next well it's basically August and September and wow there's some beautiful things coming out okay so that's that on there. So that just frames and then somewhere in here will go my picture. Can you see where I'm going with that? Now I do feel like I need some stenciling in there. I'm not going to glue that down just yet because I'm not sure whether the stamping stenciling is going to go over the top or underneath. 
but I just really want that splash of green colour and then black and white contrast all around it. So let's take a look at some of my stamps that I could get some texture from. Um, now I've bought this back in because there's a collection that I'm planning at the moment and we're always planning, Sam will tell you the same, we're always planning collections or got something we've just planned so we talk about these collections though they may be coming out like next year but there's one where we're, I'm actually going to do the very popular book book page stamp on its own so this was in part of a set and it all sold out and it was with the typewriter the book and the flower but next year I think it's next February time this is going to be coming out on its own finally so I'm very excited for that because you all loved this one and I do too and I use it and I apologize it has sold out but I'm sure lots of you will have other kind of text style stamps in your stash so I'm just going to add some text in areas don't want too much and the beauty of this is you can just ink around the curve if you don't want those really straight lines little dab I think that's enough <laughs> I say that's enough and then I just carry on maybe a little dab up there that's enough tell me to stop someone say stop I need someone just to slap my wrist so stop adding things there we go okay who's enjoying the five minute makes as well on a Friday I've got my next one all filmed and ready for you for next Friday really love this one actually I hope you do too um, have any I know actually a few of you I've seen on social media have used some of the techniques I hope you are um, do, 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 do. let's have a look you have this stamp never used it oh you've never used it why not so it's just a page of how you're feeling that day yeah absolutely Amber, it's just it's literally your own page your own book you don't need to ever show anybody if you don't want to um, but it really is just yeah how you're feeling what you want to put on there that's all now stencils I love 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 this one the starburst stencil this was from the oh somebody help me out in the stars collection so I think what I'm going to do is where these two will be sat now do I go with text or do I go I don't know if I want them, it perfectly just playing around with maybe that should be in the center maybe it should be in the center and then we'll have bits and pieces coming off at angles so if I imagine their heads are going to be there I kind of want this starburst to come maybe we'll lower it so it's not actually coming out of their heads as such <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted it central to where they were going to be okay so I'm going to use a little bit if I can find it stencil repositionable glue I'm just going to take this away so this is just the um, crafters companion one there's lots of different ones there's also stencil glue by the way which reminds me I need to reorder it because I've just used it up craft stash do stencil glue now does anyone remember where I was supposed to put that it's about there wasn't it craft stash do a stencil glue absolutely it's online and it's perfect if you want to spread on your masks or stencils you can use it for that um yeah I, it kind of snuck in it's one of those products that i didn't see um coming and then all of a sudden it was just there i didn't know anything about it but i've put repositionable glue on there it might not be perfect but hopefully that will be okay and let's put some dimensional paste through now this paste you can make your own I think um, I believe Christine Stokes who I am doing another collaboration with soon by the way um, I believe she made her own sort of texture paste on her channel there's lots of videos out there but I love this one um, and this is the Sizzix dimensional paste the pot has lasted me absolutely forever but a little tip and this is probably the same with all pastes make sure you don't have any paste around the lid before you put it away otherwise you will have a nightmare getting the lid off the next time once it's dry which I have <laughs> and that's why my lid 
has got all these little dinks in it where I've had to kind of try and leverage things up. So I nearly didn't just follow my own advice. So clean my palette knife, but also just run a damp cloth or a wet wipe around the outside. The inside's fine, but the outside edge there, just make sure there's no paste around there because that's where things get sticky. Right. And now I've, I've completely distorted my lid. It's a nightmare to get back on. There we go, okay. So let's peel that off. Hey, that's not too bad, is it? I'm also going to, I'm going to clean as I go, everybody, because I always say, put that aside and I'll clean it at the end and never, never do. Stop, 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 stop. What is stop? Anne-Marie, why have you said stop? What have I missed? Like it, in, oh, stop, I see, up, down, yeah, there. <laughs> you like it in the centre. Um, let's have a look at YouTube. How are we doing on YouTube? Everybody, I have to save the rest for later. All oh, going to love your next club with Christine. Yeah, I'm excited about that actually. It's actually going to be with the new collection as well, which is why we're waiting a little while to get the collection launched and then Christine's going to have it. And yeah, it'll be fun, it'll be fun. We've actually got a color combination as well. I know lots of people enjoyed that we use the same color combination and see different takes on it. So yeah, that'll be good. I think it's middle of August. Make a note in your diary. I'm just gonna give this a quick whiz if this is plugged in. I'm not sure if it is actually. Oh, it is. Give this a very quick whiz dry because I don't want to put anything on it. Um, by the way, everybody, on both Facebook and YouTube, there is a comment that's pinned and that has got a link. Now this is called an affiliate link. So for those of you who don't know, if you see these weird little links that people like crafters like myself put out everywhere, uh, basically if you were to click on that link and purchase anything from the website that it directs you to, um, we would get a very small amount of commission for sending you over there. So if you feel like buying anything today from Craftstash or over the next few days, um, if you could pop through one of these links, um, either ones on the comments today, or um, in Facebook posts and things like that, that'd be really helpful because it just means that we can carry on buying our favorite craft products. Oh, and that reminds me, there's an amazing offer on Craft Stash today. Uh, and I'm, I haven't checked the finish date, but usually they last a couple of days. If you're spending 30 pound on inks, inks pa ink pads, you get some free blending brushes and they're the pack of 12 big colored blending brushes that I use all the time the, all the ones that are behind me so um, yeah so that's a really really good offer so if you're thinking about at any time soon um, stocking up on your inks is a good time to do it now and again if you can go on to Facebook and follow the link in my post where I've sort of promoted that and advertised it that'd be really helpful um, let's see I see no pinned comment on the YouTube so oh, maybe I didn't pin it sorry bear with me um, here you go. Let me just pin it. Pin message. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't pin it. I said it was pinned and I didn't. I'm pretty sure on Facebook it automatically does it. When you do this, when you do this type of stuff, it always looks great, says Anne Marie. When I try, it looks a mess. I must give it. Do you know what? I think it gets to a messy stage. It always does. Um, and I do this a lot on cards as well. It, it, it's kind of messy, and then I just keep going with it and then it, turn, it always turns out fine. Now something else I wanted to add, I'm going to add some more black elements in, but I wondered whether some of my leaves, these are the washi sheets from, um, spit my words out, Magnolia Drive. And I wondered whether these, oh, those darker ones are nicer actually. So there's still a handful of these left, or there was the other day when I looked of the washi, washi sheets and with you get the magnolia drive the magnolia sorry the magnolia images but you also get these leaves and these are really beautiful so they're they're washy now i've got sticky wet distress not distress dis dimensional paste on my fingers so i'm trying to be careful with uh pulling this off but they're really really pretty very delicate and they look gorgeous so I'm thinking about putting 
one of these on. Let's have a look. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to put it on. The thing is, with washi, you could always just peel it off. Actually, let's change my mind and let's put it over here. As demonstrated there. Because my daughter loves her plants. So this is kind of a page that's going to be a lot about her and what she likes. So her colour, green, and in fact she loves plants. So that's included as well. Now, there's a bit there that shouldn't be there. That's why that bit looks odd. There we go. And what I love about this, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but the washi is translucent, so you can still see some of the text coming through. Colour match is lovely. Oh, phone call. Oh dear, just spent under a pound on inks waiting for it to arrive. Amory, did you get the blending brushes as well? Hopefully you did. Hopefully it was when that offer was on. Right, let's peel another one of these off. Just do it very gently, just take your time with them because they are very delicate. They're so worthwhile. They're beautiful. And like I say, you do get in the pack, you do get the Magnolia Drive. Now, if you missed out on Magnolia Drive, it has sold out twice. I haven't heard yet whether we're going to be restocking. I'm, I'm really not sure. I hope they do, but I can't promise anything. So the washi is kind of like the next best thing because you still get that look at that lovely Magnolia Drive or Magnolia Plant image. Um, with all the co beautiful colours, but you don't have to worry about the stamps and dyes. So this one I'm going to have, it's very sticky, coming out down the bottom here. Just place this like so. Um, as Sam's got her nan there today, I'm not sure. If Sam's still about, are you doing your live today? I'm going to assume not, because you're out with nan, but... Let us know. There we go. So I'm hoping. Yes. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Such a shame about that photo, but you know, like I say, I'll get it sorted. Right, now other embellishments. Let's pop the green sheets away. I'm going to have a sentiment as well. What would you all do? What would you put on there extra? I'm not sure. I don't know if I need a lot more. Do you know what? I've gone to the point where actually I think sometimes you can do just too much, can't you? Oh, I've got a pot here of embellishment and I'm pretty sure... Do we, do we want a jumping cat? <laughs> do we have a cat just jumping across them? No, but I have got, oh, that's pretty. Let's see what I've got in here. So this is my little pot of embellishments. When I make and cut out things and very often, you know, just don't use them for whatever reason. I change my mind and such. That's quite funny. Oh, I haven't used any of the oranges. I was going to go with the oranges, wasn't I? Maybe some wooden embellishments are what I need to bring in. Oh no, actually, this is better. Look at this. I might have to, because that kind of just works with the green. So I've got a key in there. No idea where this key came from. I've got a little butterfly. That's sweet. That could just be... I think it's time to now glue that frame down. I don't want to overload things. Maybe not that, maybe not that. <laughs> I say maybe not that, but then I'm sort of, eh, I kind of want to, I kind of want to put it in somewhere. So I apologise, I go quiet while I'm while I'm planning. And then I could have the black sentiment just here. It's a bit too much, isn't it? Take that away, I think. I 
Would that look better if it was not top heavy? What are we thinking, people? I feel like, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. I think maybe I should keep it more simple. Let's see, um, you love the key, yep. No, she's not live. Hello Maureen, how are you? Thank you for joining me. Um, let's see, have I got any advice on this? Let's go back down to the bottom. It's looking good, just the sentiment. Yeah, I think it can do too much, can't you? You've lightly embossed these leaves to give a bit of texture. Oh, lovely. Uh, love your magnolia flower and leaves. Thank you so much. Nice starburst position, Caroline. Yeah, it kind of, I'm going to lose it though, aren't I, if I do too much. So I think, I think maybe, maybe we we do less is more today. I'm going to have to do, you know, I'm going to have to do my black splodges. So, right, let's glue some things down. Oh, a massive shout out as well. I haven't seen her in the comments yet, I don't think. Let me just check. Do, do, do. I'm going to wait because she usually joins. She usually, usually joins, so bear with me. Let me just see if she's there. <laughs> um, where are you, my love? Just scrolling through the comments because she's usually on both platforms, so and she's not here today, which is unusual. Um, not that I can see any anyway Simone if you're there sorry I can't see you um, she sent me these and they're absolutely beautiful she does have an Etsy shop I was going to ask her to put her link I think I did last week she's done me these um, glue pins and they're so pretty so this one's got textures on it in the beads and this one's got loo in the beads so I've got one for my big glue and one for my smaller glue and I really love these I just think they're absolutely gorgeous so Simone thank you very much I think she's blondes blonde something craft cards and crafts or something on YouTube can't see you um and Simone James so yes yeah, Simone if you're watching thank you so much again I did send you a message and thank you anyway but she does have an Etsy shop and hopefully when she sees this she will pop her link in the comments for you to go and have a look Okay, so let's glue this down. Once it's glued down firm, you really get that nice contrast from it. It's popping up because things are wet a little bit, a little bit damp, not too bad. And I'm going to just pop that little butterfly up there. Now I am going to I am going to glue this down, but I will then adhere another layer over the top. I'll make the photo ever so slightly larger than I did the first time round. Um, and that way it will cover over completely. Or I might just peel it off because it's laminated so I can peel it off and put the new version on. Now black. Uh, I did say I need to do some black, didn't I? Um, where are you? Where are you? You'll do. Black splodges, not too much. <laughs> That's me saying not too much again. You know I'm going to. I just feel like it needs a bit more black. And I will do a black sentiment in a moment. Right, so I'm just doing this top corner where the leaf is and the bottom corner where the leaf is, Not so not too much. I've refrained from doing any big blobs. Are you proud of me? Let's pop this down then. A couple of, I'm just going to put a couple of foam pads on the back because I can easily remove those afterwards when I do my much better laminated. Oh, 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 don't want to smudge that black. Ah, oh, my pretty babies, pretty babies, love them. 
okay then key position I don't really want to put it over the photo if I put it over the photo then it's going mm. oh I don't know though what do we think okay so we've got position one position two uh, position three kind of fits there though doesn't it or so it's not top heavy position four I think I know okay looking for the comments where are the bottles from okay so this is one of the craft stash um, book binding glue bottles stencil glue bottles are the same um, they do have, the lid is kind of removable. don't know if it's supposed to be, so you can refill them if you really love them. Um, so that one is that. And then the little bottle is Crafter's Companion, um, which again, available on Craft Stash, I'm sure it was. I'm sure that's where I got it from. But little Crafter's Companion refillable bottles. And I use the Craft Stash glue inside them. Um, so we've got 222 on YouTube. Okay, well, I think that's answered that pretty well then hasn't it oh and then we've got three, three. oh for goodness sake and then we've got all threes on facebook can you all just agree <laughs> hello deborah it's just lou today i don't know why sam's not well she, she was in the comments um she's not here today she's with her nan Position one on a slight angle, four. Yeah, see, I kind of then felt four where I've left it. Hmm, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with four. Now, to glue this down, ideally I need my, I need my glue gun plugged in, which I didn't think ahead about. So excuse me if you see my head in shot while I get thing, this plugged in. I'm warmed up and we sort out a sentiment. I'm not going to overrun in the same way as I did last week because that was a bit silly, wasn't it? Oh, right. I'm coming over. Is anyone else cold as well? It's supposed to be end of July, getting towards August, and it is chilly. It's not not so nice. I've got a thick jumper. I am working in my garage. To be fair, it's not no heating or anything in here. Don't cover the photo. No, don't cover the photo, Julie. I know. Three. Well, I'm going to go against you all now because you're saying threes and twos. And I'm going to go with four. Just, just because I can't. I dare not choose. If I choose two, I'm going to upset half of you. If I choose three, I'm going to upset half of you. So I'm going to choose four, which hardly any of you chose. Um, and then you can't argue. I shouldn't ask, should I? <laughs> we'll see how it works out we've got some lovely leaves on this one this is the in the stars set it all looks a bit dirty at the moment um because i've got lots of ink on it but i think there's still i think there's still some of those available okay so now i need to choose i need to choose i need to choose a sentiment <laughs> i don't think for the most wonderful couple is the best small things might create create wonderful moments oh that's nice because that's exactly what he did he ran home he put his dirty old clothes on which i didn't know were dirty where is it there um he was so desperate to get a photo with his big sister before she went off for a prom he's actually taller than her he's three years younger but stands taller but she's always been a bit of a shorty but it's very cute right so create beautiful moment. do you know what do I I'm not if I cover over the photo I'll make sure I can remove it I think create wonderful moments like that yeah, I think that's how that's going to go. Um, you want, oh, yep. My key's ready. My glue's ready for, to stick my key down. So just a line along here. 
I've no idea where this key came from. I've had it years. I think what I need to do, now where do I have some? Oh, my metal embellishments are not here. They're all, they're in the other studio. So what I would do another time is take a few other metal embellishments and place them around, just like little, a couple of little cogs, maybe that kind of thing. No idea where they've all gone. Oh, hang on. I might have a few. I might have a few. Oh, again, I'm leaning. I really in do I have some oh should we see I have a cup literally a couple in here so I've got a little frame and a couple of cogs sweet no don't try and put everything on oh, I've got that one as well so yeah I have got I've got a few okay I think just a couple is enough I will need to dull these down because this is a really bright gold put that there and then attach that one there okay See, I'm not putting anything on the photo. I and mean, I know that's really, really bright at the moment. Well, that's handy, finding those. I forgot about those. So what I'm going to do is take... Where's my stays on? Take my stays on. I need a little bit of... There you go. My dirty old kitchen towel will work, I think. Just try to dull these down a little bit. There we go, a little bit of black on the gold and the bronze because it's really too bright otherwise. That's better. It's just taken the, the sharpness off the colour of those and that should dry eventually. It might take a little while but the stays on will dry. Okay, so all, all I need to do now is pop on my sentiments. I think, how are we doing for time? Let's check the comments. Really sweet. You want to be part of his sister's prom. He is a sweetie. He's it's a bit poorly today, the last few days. There's a horrible flu thing going around. Where do you get the sentiment cards, Lou? These sentiments are my sen textures, sentiments for all paper pack. Um, it's just been restocked, actually. So it's available on Craft Stash. It's less than a tenner. I can't remember how much it is now, but you get... There's 20 sheets in there, so there's four different designs, and basically you've got sort of two designs, but then you've got them in the alternative colours. So you've got black and white, and then white and black. So every word, every phrase, you've got in both colours. Um, yeah, and it's about well, something like 7.99, something crazy like that. 8.99, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, on Craft Stash. Thank you, Lynn. Just answering Amory's question as well. Didn't see you comment there. Um, do, 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 do. do you definitely for Sandra's overheating are you are you really well you maybe you must be in a different part of the country to me uh, Carmen hello how are you are you good perfect sentiment it is nice isn't it <laughs> yeah sorry upset everyone and then Laurie said for <laughs> Hope your son feels better soon. Ooh, lots of hugs. Doing the rounds again. It does seem to be doing the rounds again. It's not. It's not. It's not COVID. Well, we tested him last week when he had a cold, just to be sure, and it wasn't. There was nothing. That was fine. It was just a cold. But then the last few, few days. Well, ever since he's got over that cold, he's just had this raging temperature, and he can't seem to shift it. I don't know what it is. I really don't. But. I will do him another test today because he's going away on his cadet army cadet annual camp on Saturday morning and it's 10 days so it's an eight hour trip up towards Scotland it's Newcastle and then um yeah 10 days sleeping in fields and things so I need to make sure he's well for that okay I think I think we're done with that I think I'm happy with that now when you look in, really look into it, you've got that lovely subtle text in the background, the washi sheets. Um, again, the stenciling is really 
subtle as well we can't really see much of that now but it's there I probably would have so this is where an art journal is really helpful because I've done this and if I wanted to make it into a scrapbook page or do it for someone else to gift or put it onto a card or something like that I can do this try it out now I know another time I would raise up the stenciling and the color a little bit uh, so that I could see that starburst around them a little bit more um, I might do less of the green maybe or maybe the green and another color you know all these different things I probably would I take it back I think I'd probably do the frame in black black with white lines I think now but do you know what this is it this is exactly why I do art journaling so I can see so I just need to redo my photo there and laminate it and have it nice and smooth so you'll see that on um, Facebook soon but if you're watching on um, YouTube please do subscribe to my channel uh, like the video and all of these thank you so much for commenting as well because that just means other it reaches other people and other people see it and come along um, it's it's 11 56 at the moment yeah it's 10 57 here um, so what time is it in South? Oh, I see you're answering Paula. <laughs> there we go. You're having a little chat amongst yourselves. But thank you everybody so much for joining me again today. I will be back next Wednesday. Um, busy, busy, busy. Um, but yeah, and don't forget Friday. Please come and join me Friday. I'm going to be on YouTube. I'm going to be on the Craft Stash channel, not this channel. Uh, and we, I will be crafting for eight hours non-stop. I'm not sure where I'm going to get loo breaks, but that's part of um the rest of the team popping in and doing demonstrations as well um so yeah that'll be really good fun we'll raise some money hopefully for charity and we'll offer you some fantastic deals at craft stash through the day as well so i'll see you on friday hopefully do drop me comments and such and have a wonderful rest of your day okay take care